According to the United Nations 2021 World Toilet Day campaign, at least 3.6 billion people live daily without access to safely managed sanitation. Globally, at least 2 billion people use a drinking water source contaminated with feces. In parts of Potakot, the river state capital, open defecation has become the order of the day, especially at dual waterfronts where low-income housing is the only means of shelter. Toilets should be basic requirements to get an accommodation here, but locals say they have been abandoned to their fate. Mrs. Kerry James, a mother of four and a woman leader who has lived here for over 20 years, shows me fresh bruises on the face of her two-year-old daughter after she fell off the toilet bath. If you want toilet, now here will become toilet. As they come, sometimes the children they fall, they wound. Like this one, corn sheet, in four for yeah, wound. My neighbor, Naikara, and come. For nine before, as they come toilet, some kind of people they, they rape them, yeah. If they come from your house for nine, nobody, they bet now. Security said they help us, small, small. But we want to make them help us for better toilet, see our environment. Mosquito say they make the children, they sick always. When they carry children, they go hospital always. Sometimes they even get money to carry children, go hospital. Most of the children, yeah, they die. Most of them, not, nobody get anything to do. Now manage, then they manage here. Yeah. With the bath here, with the shit here. Everything I hear, they can't do. We not get where go to the dirty, now make you see this dirty then. Yeah. So that the thing will wage here, yeah. because if water come, water the entire our houses. Now make this dirty with the pond, so that the thing will help us wage the dirty here, yeah. so that the water no go enter our house. But beyond open defecation, a bigger concern for women here will be bathing and defecating in the full view of the opposite sex. If they shit, self men they can see us. If they can shit, nowhere to shit now. So the day they shit, they open our yansh. To say come early for see women the way they shit here, where they open yansh. I decide to take a walk through to the toilets to experience firsthand all she has said. But as I took each scary step towards the toilet, the stench became even more intense and reminded me of how impacting a fall from up here and mispressing need for the toilets would hurt. Mr. Okori says his toilet session now depends on his grandchildren and well-meaning individuals who only assist him when there is money involved. He says this has been his daily survival routine after retiring from federal civil service with no pension. Sometimes, if you don't give money, I will be the problem. Sometimes, when I get money, I will pay them. They carry me when my children is not around. I will go up there in my Okay. You see, I retire from federal government. Okay. But they never pay me a cup of tea. It's making eight years. Since you retired? Since I was working for Naipos, federal government. Nothing they pay me tea. Today, not people leave me alone. All, all our group, they never pay us. Sometimes I have a feel hungry. Very important. I took a walk to the next community, but I couldn't help but notice the visibly angry youths worried about their living condition. No better toilets, no water. Today for first time water here. Yeah. You see, they die, they lost. No tea, no quarrel. That's how they suffer. Water they enter our house. Water they flow, enter before us. We pay water all year. Go my house and go like this now. Water full every year. Go my bed full every year. We suffer. Across to the next community, I find women roasting young stock fishes, popularly called manla fish. Beside them is another elevated wooden toilet. Although this toilet path felt more stable than the first, the toilets also had padlocks showing four rooms to one toilet. But what is the same here are women and children falling through the dump of excreta. Joy Albert, a mother of seven, Married into this place, now has to always worry about her four young daughters who must wake up at 4 a.m. each day to use the toilet. With a unisex toilet pattern and no security around, one can only imagine what many other young girls in this area go through. 
uh, this community where we did, if you want to make use of this toilet, either come out four or five. That is the only time we go feel make. If not, without that time, any other time we come, any I see the place, when I open now, you know, close, you go shit like that. This toilet and the gutter, the majority of the warriors, because if the rain come, floods come, come, come join. If you join these two things join together, the house, they full with water, with children. If you find how I go take pack your things sometime, keep for up before the flood go go. Because they bail water plus the rain on commodity. Because the toilet and the flood come, I can't plus the toilet come. Over 500 people live and do petty businesses in these shanties in Patakot, making up for a sizable voting population in the state. But only few have seen Betu toilets. Fishing activities seem to blossom in this area. So I caught up with Joseph Francis, a fisherman here, to find out how open defecation is impacting his fishing. He tells me it's hard to differentiate the feces from the fishes, so all are brought to the fore. Are they cast fish? Are they cast sheep? Are they cast dirty? Nothing when I need a cast. So all those things too are, are the big important things whereby it's a fish. I go leave the shit out. That's the way I'm doing. Shelter, they say, is man's basic need. But what happens when the shelter comes to the price of no toilets? With a lifestyle that seems free from worries here, I go home sad that the plights of these people may keep getting exploited by lip service promises, some made for political gains.